Okay, gents, you understand the rules you fight under. You listen to me all times, you keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Let's do it. My name is Mark Goddard, and I have been an MMA referee since 2004. When you're in iconic arenas around the world, you know, when you're in uh, Rio, when you're in Japan, when you're in Las Vegas, 60,000 people in a stadium, the fever pitch and like the, the adrenaline and the energy and the noise of that crowd, it is probably like no other place on earth. Before I go into the, to the big fights, maybe two minutes before, three minutes before, I don't want to talk to anyone. I'll just take myself away and I just, I'll go through that emptying process of, in your mind because every fight is a blank canvas. It's, it's a painting and you watch it or a film or a movie and it's being directed right in front of you. People say it's the best seat in the house. How can you not be fortunate to be standing four or five feet away from the greatest fighters on earth, you know, and, and watching the magic unfold? But being up close and so personal, I'm jumping out the plane with the fighters. When the fight begins, boom, the tunnel vision kicks in, the peripheral switched off and, and you're in the moment. I don't care what's going on on the outside. I don't care what I hear from the outside. My job is to remain focused. And when I say focused, I'm in another dimension. So at that point then, you can hear literally everything. You can hear the fighters breathing. As a referee, your game face is on. Whenever I act or elect to step in to stop a fight, you best believe I'm doing it on, on the best of intentions. I don't want a fighter to be unnecessarily hurt. You're walking that fine line, you know, that tightrope. A fighter could get concussively dropped and I have 10 feet to cover in less than a second. As I'm covering that distance, everything's whirling around in my mind and you've got to make that call. Is when I decide to move in and stop that fight, that is it. Every other single person on this planet and their opinion on what you've done opens up in the three or four or five seconds after that stoppage is made. I could stop a meteorite hitting the planet and someone would still complain. But, you know, they say a picture paints a thousand words, none more so than that split second when you, a fighter looks me in the eye and the fight's over. And when they walk out of that cage, a bit of them is staying in there. A little bit of them is fucking smack bang ingrained on that canvas. The sport of MMA has given me treasures, memories that had I not gone down the path of MMA, my life would have taken a completely different trajectory. I want to leave a legacy and I want to leave a meaning in this sport so that people know when I'm pushing up the daisies <laughs> and I'm no longer here, if people can look back and say, Mark played a significant part in helping this sport get better, or he played a significant part in helping this sport get safer. If I'm on that mantle, I'll, I'm gonna be happy. Hello again and welcome back to the Curly Top YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed that little documentary with UFC and MMA referee Mark Goddard. It was a great experience to be able to create that, especially as it was my first time doing any sort of animation, my first animated film. And it was the rest of the team that I had with me's first time doing any sort of animation as well. So it was a great experience to be able to do that. Mark is such an incredible character. He's a legend of mixed martial arts. And to hear the stories that he had to tell 
to be able to put that together in some sort of way that I felt was quite creative and different uh, was really, really cool and a really great experience. Obviously, we're still very much on the MMA train in terms of content at the minute. We are planning different things with people from different sports backgrounds. So make sure that you leave any comments on people you would like to see on the Curly Top YouTube channel, also on the other social media platforms as well. Following that, make sure that you follow us on TikTok, on Twitter, and on Instagram, because there's stuff going up on there every single day. You don't want to miss out. So yeah, please make sure you go and follow us on, on those platforms as well. And lastly, please subscribe to the Curly Top YouTube channel if you haven't already. Please leave a like, it really, really does help the videos perform better and helps the channel grow. And of course, please share the videos if you would like to, because the more eyes we have on the channel, the better, the more subscribers we'll get, the, the more views um, and the easier it will be for me to reach out to other athletes, bigger athletes, different athletes and get them on board with being part of the channel and, and basically getting content for you guys. So I've been really, really happy with the support so far and I'm just really motivated to keep going with the channel and keep pushing out content for you guys, different things that you might not have already seen. Thank you again for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.